All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another War Game Red Dragon replay cast. And today it is a three versus three between our two teams. Our Red Four team is the Steel Balalaikas with Ocean Saraga and Reflux. And on the left side, we have our blue team, Team ANZ, with Priad, Nandemoni, and ANZ Faust. So we are going to speed this on up. So it is a uh, Clash of the Titans, I suppose. Very, very well high-end teams and high-end players. As you can see it by all their ranks there. And Faust. Uh, I believe Faust, uh, the highest rank of the game. Uh, Field Marshal there. And now we're going to speed this on down. Let that go a little bit too long. And some air power flying on overhead. And finishes that off pretty quick. So we'll see what these players decide to do. Looks like we have Nandamoni moving over to the left side here. And Priad uh, with lots of air power, anti-air power. A uh, couple Pivads and the Chaparral. Humvees, LAV scouts. And on the right side here, Nandamoni moving in with tons of troops into Golf and or Charlie. And Nandamoni moving up with some Chumats to the center. So we'll see how this goes. And the battle begins here. A couple Humvees now dropping off troops. Some Esmas. Maybe drop first into the town line. And MI8s. Spewing cluster rockets there. All over the place. Although I suppose it's eh, kind of cluster rockets. Why not? And Esma. All the way in the back there. And now trying to push forward a little bit. And now those Esmas are going off and holding out down to eight men. Not going to last too long there. A big push here trying to get into Foxtrot there. And those Sheikis pushing in. Lots of recon Sheikis and trying to push in a lot of troops as well. But there's tons of Gornostrelki here at the edge. And just tons of missiles launching at these and trying to take him out before he gets there. LAV scouts have made it all the way into Echo there. It's going to spawn what's going on and being pushed into there. Shikis have made it to Dolph and will hold out for now. Gewehrman being popped out. XA's nearly make it and Gewehrman popping out all over the place here. And trying to make it into the town and loses the majority of them before they even get in there. And Gornostrelki not going to last too long uh, to the Guvermen. They were just really there to stop uh, the majority of the troops from even getting there in the first place and did a very good job at that. And we're actually going to uh, just do our audio down just a scouch, you know what I mean? It's a bit loud. And the Gewehrmen made it in, kind of. And it uh, looks like the push overall, though, into Foxtrot has failed for now. And on the left side, the heavy armor has been brought over here. A couple M1A1 and M1A2 Abrams. And now firing from the wood line here at the tank of Shishows. And so just going to take out some of those while he can. And just fires once, and now he's going to give that up. And there isn't a lot in this town here for Red 4, really. The Spetsnaz grew and uh, about 15 Modus Trelki, which uh, won't last all that long. FSK is trying to hold out here uh, across the way, across territories, across blocks. And Gewehrman now push up a little bit. Just one guy uh, pushes up one uh, to one. Spetsnaz grew versus Gewehrman, and he beat him there. So uh, good job there. Leopard 2A5 pushing up and K52 and the MI28 pushing up as well and Leopard got it back up there. Some missiles heading his way. BTRs pushing up as well. Trying to get some troops in to the uh, west side of Foxtrot there. And looks like some troops were trying to push here uh, into Delta but he decided to back them out as he was losing a little bit too many of them. The Spetsnaz grew there right on the edge with those RPG-26, which just take out all the APCs and would lose the majority of his men before he even gets in there. And now over here, the Ericsson Bison going at it. 
with some Spetsnaz Gru, and there's just two Eric's left. So don't think they're gonna win out on that. <laughs> and no, they certainly did not. Gewehrman and, and Modestroki going at it, but still pouring in troops here. VDV now, uh, 20 of them, and a BTR Shrek set is pushing forward, and we'll see if it can do anything. And gonna be firing away on that cheeky. K52 way overhead, seeing everything that's going on. And then over here, she's still trying to get uh, into Delta and having a hard time doing that. The Gewehrmen trying to push in, and they're almost there at the edge of the line here. But the Spetsnaz now pushing forward, and we got Napalm Spetsnaz in the edge of the territory. The edge right here, um, within a block right next to it. And Gewehrmen just getting torn up there by BTR-90s. And not really going to make it. U.S. Marines not going to make it either. And the push continues. One Gewehrman, Gewehrman in here. Uh, just chilling in Foxtrot. And he's not going to last too long. M1A2 hanging out in the woods, but it's detracked. And can't really go anywhere. But it still can fire. Maybe firing away on the BTR-80. It's giving itself away in the meantime, though. And some Conkers headed its way. So we'll see if it can get uh, its tracks going again. And MI-28 now firing away at the Abrams. Abrams just has a small sliver of health left. And one more shot that lands will finish it off. Now he's better in MI-28 there. And Chaparral going to be firing away at the MI-25. And misses. And takes it out. But now the Chaparral there has no infrared missiles left. So it's pretty much just a uh, uh, useless block of a vehicle now until it is resupplied. Mirage flying overhead trying to get this MiG and has a turbine failure and unable to evac. And the Mirage will get away safely there. Leopard's pushing in and Gewehrmen trying to push up as well. And just a BRGM and some VDV holding this VDV strike. That vehicle there destroys that. And Leopard pushing up there. Finishes off that BRGM. And now some SU-122 54s in the back there. Really just uh, just one of them. And yeah, pushing forward to see what it can do there. BTRD pushing across there. It gets destroyed instantly by those LEV scouts. And U.S. Marines now pushing in 12 and 10 here against all the Gornostrelki and the uh, random Spetsnaz here. 12 Spetsnaz over here. And some A1Gs now pushing in and the LVTPs. Going to be firing away on the Spetsnaz there. Finishes that off with those frags. And uh, over here, the VDV pushing forward. Stunned 15 of them uh, versus quite a few... Uh, Gewehrmen, so like 11 Gewehrmen, and the Shiki's pushing forward as well, gonna try and get some hits in on these VDV. And unable to push into Foxtrot again, so really just holding the town before Foxtrot. And attack marker has gone off here, but there's really nothing there. BTR ADAs pushing across. And now tons of APCs are in this town. Uh, that had dropped off all these troops and just using these to take out some of these troops uh, before they're instantly destroyed by an RPG from something or another. And LVTP is now moving over towards the Spetsnaz crew. Just two left, and these Marines going to be more than enough to handle these Spetsnaz. So it looks like Delta will uh, turn around into the hands of ANZ. And a couple CEVs now moving up as well. But unfortunately, they're... Uh, in a town, or on the other side of the town there, all the troops are on the other side of the town. So they're going to have to get all the way around, and that's going to make them very vulnerable over here. And Pivat now finally fires there, takes that out. K-52 now moving in, dangerously close to the Pivads again. All he needs to do is push up a little bit, and it looks like he's actually going to bring that back. Learned his lesson from the uh, first helicopter that was destroyed by the Pivads. Gewehrman holding strong here. Seven VDV left. And they will take out the Gewehrman for now. I mean, it doesn't look like too much is coming uh, into golf here to uh, reinforce that. And lots of U.S. Marines and some Jaegers now inside the town as well. 
WZ gets destroyed, and MI8 firing cluster rockets there into the Jaeger, uh, into the Jaegers. <laughs> And they're 122 millimeter rockets. I don't know if you want to consider that cluster rockets or not, but uh, eh, either way, right? And U.S. Marines, Tank and Shishows, and Hyundai in the center between Jaegers and uh, Marines here. And Chaparral now being uh, resupplied by a Hemet, which is about time an M8, uh, M8 AGS and a Crotown moving up as well. Now tons of AMX recon uh, being pushed into Delta here. And mortars now being pushed across the map here. Gonna try and perhaps bomb Foxtrot out, but that's gonna take quite a while. Four Conquerors pushing in. Not too much armor for them to use against, though. And Jaegers, Rangers, U.S. Marines have totally taken over Delta here, and I don't see them uh, really taking it back anytime soon. Lijon's now uh, in the mix. And Lijon is, uh, I think I read um, a little stat table that Lijon's are pretty much the best uh, CQC unit. Uh, SF unit uh, in the game and usually wins out over any other uh, uh, SF unit VDV 20 pushing across here and we have three SU 122s three more coming as well And as you can see, the Legion just hold up so, so well. I mean, Rangers on this side, uh, Jaegers uh, now sandwiching, so it's almost a complete surround here. And they hold out super, super good uh, in towns. Apparently, there is some kind of work going on outside my place, and there is a very, very loud machine working. So if you guys hear some kind of humming or some kind of uh, terrible infernal noise uh, coming out of the replay today, well, that's what it is. And I'll drop off. They're splitting, rather, uh, all those XAs there. And pushing into Echo and see if we can hold Echo for a long time. But there's this, the CVs all the way over there. That's going to be kind of hard to get at. And Leopard 1A5 pushing forward. K29 might finish it off, though. No, not going to do too much there. Just some HE. And going to hold that pretty well. SU-122s pushing forward here. Tons of SU-122s. Even more being brought in. Two here, three, uh, and another one all being brought in. So it looks like there's about seven of them uh, in this area. Eric's fires at the SU-122, misses, and will not take that out. Now the uh, blue push has been pushing all the way up here uh, to the side through Echo and up through Juliet now. But we'll see if he can do that or not. M8 AGS and the Leopard pushing up. Firing away on the Hyundai. But there's a T-72B1 pushing forward. And decides to pack up a little bit. A little bit too much of Leopard in the A and the AGS there. And the SU-122 is getting close now. We have five. Uh, they're trying to get into the battlefield here. This SU-122 is almost already out of fuel there. Leopard pushing from the side. BRD, I'm about to fire. And a fuel leak goes off there on the Leopards. 
And that BRDM should be fired upon any time now. Uh, perhaps they just couldn't see it. And going after the SU-122, SU-122 is going to fire back. And totally misses the Leopard. And it looks like the Steel Balalaikas. 80% of the resources needed to win. 400 to uh, 405 out of 500 to zero. So the team A and Z has scored no points so far, which is slightly unusual. And now we have many, many Jaegers, 37 Jaegers moving across the way here. And the M1A1 Abrams pushing as well. And it looks like sort of a, just a screw it, desperate push now uh, being pushed up. A plus two advantage there for the Steel Balalaikas and they need to uh, be taken out immediately. Uh, if this CV here uh, would bring them down to one uh, and Golf would need to be taken out as well. Foxtrot is unlikely uh, to be taken out, but that would uh, instantly uh, even it up to 0-0 zero, zero, uh, by taking out Foxtrot's CV, but that would be much harder as it's uh, troops inside of a town. MiG-27 flying overhead, trying to get at that M1 Abrams. And fails to do so, only has one bar of health left though. Jaeger's trying to push forward and they're in open territory, just getting rocked over and over. And M1 Abrams misses death there. MI-25 firing away. And the last missile going after an AMX and finishes that one off. And uh, CV being brought up uh, into Echo here. Going to try and neutralize that. Uh, and if they can bring a CV into Golf too, but that's going to be very difficult. As the red team has all of this. Saraga has the entire uh, golf front line here, so that's going to be basically impossible to bring a CV in here right now. And all these SU-122s just blasting away. Three more SU-122s being brought up to the line. And two SU-122s get taken out at the same time there by the Chumads. You know, pushing forward, looks like all of them only have one missile left, so better make it count. Super Edentard flies overhead and misses that WZZ, or WZ, added an extra Z on there. It sounds better that way, doesn't it? And now abandoning Golf, pushing back uh, with those Chew Mats as he's going to lose those pretty easy. XA's pushing forward, but uh, going to lose these on the way too by those SW-122s. So he's got himself a sticky situation there in Golf. BRDM loses out. And CEV over here, uh, not enough troops really to use it again. CEV should be fired on the motor truck, but the Cobra takes care of that. And Gewehrmen have been released and are pushing forward. And are just going to be used to soak up some damage, I suppose, or at least uh, make them run out of ammo. Uh, that would be a weird command to get. Okay, run forward and make the enemy run out of ammo. Oh, okay, that's... I can do that. And here they go. And 477 to 500. And they did neutralize Echo. And has been noted by the red team where that CV is. And down to a plus one advantage. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to take anything else. Golf the CV all the way back here. Unable to bring a CV into Golf here. And Foxtrot just way too secure right now. And not enough troops in that area to even be pushing that way anyway. Gewehrman here, eating some Type 63, and they did not run the an uh, enemy out of ammo entirely. Uh, this one did, so uh, good job, Gewehrman. And Leopard's now pushing up, but well, doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Uh, Echo had been taken back, the CV destroyed, and just two more points. The game will be over. And pretty much a total upset for Team... ANZ there didn't really score any points at all. So uh, Steel Balalaikas have won the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. And I will see you guys next time.